No Jumper, coolest podcast in the world. Adam22 here with my man, Flacco. And Yo. today, we're having a conversation with Sugar Hill D-Dot. What's going on, G? Nah, I'm chilling, man. Can we just uh, yank the mic in a little bit? Sorry. All right, perfect. Mm, right there. Yo, listen. And he came in because he's 15, so I wasn't expecting him to be this tall. Right? He's, he's taller than me. Did, you commenting on people's height? Y'all niggas told me he was 17. Y'all niggas be capping the most Never consistent thing on this Yannick podcast really and i'm not mad at it yeah. because it's gotten to the point where i'm almost just kind of amazed but he's taller than me though a but, lot of people are but he's women 15. Are. yeah I, you feel me well he got great genetics <laughs> <laughs> nah but 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 okay but like besides being tall man and he came here with the a merry jacket a bust down a bust down ring the cool gray zone man yo yo bro nah facts that nigga came in drip that nigga came there with almost a two thousand five thousand dollars. Matter of fact, that's shit about like fifty bands because he got the AP on too. This nigga fifteen with a fifteen thousand. You're getting too much money right now, man. That's <laughs> how <laughs> people go and that's how people nah, sit crazy. back and eat their popcorn and watch. Not facts. Wait, here, 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 bro. So you was at like cool kicks, kicks before this though, right? Like mm -hmm. doing what there? No, I was, I was, I ain't chilling over there. I want to go show some love. I mean, cop some shoes. It's like the number one thing you got to do when you come to town. You got to get some right. shoes. You can't fit them all in the suitcase. Got it. Yeah. What? Gosh. You know? I got I have to buy new. I got to buy new suitcase. Yeah, you know, I'm not going to lie. You had something in your hand, too, when you walked in. It was something that was... It actually, it looked not so dissimilar <laughs> from this. And I was a little worried at first because I heard about people getting stuff deleted for underage people smoking. Oh, really? You ever heard anything like that? Allegedly. Mm -hmm. I only heard about it with drill rappers, though, because I'm pretty sure that it wouldn't happen unless you got your video reported five minutes. Smoking? What they talking about? Times by the mm. ops? Yeah, that's true. Right, because... No? I mean, like, I don't really know. Like, I don't, I don't smoke in my videos. Right. That's yeah, so yeah me neither. Can't, can't tell for that. Mm. Makes sense. No, I think it was Dougie B and who got his taken down for, like, some... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, I never smoked in my videos. Never. You just gonna leave that alone until you get older? Mm, I've never smoked in my even <laughs> like when I like I'm I never never don't look I ain't just I don't know, it's just a thing I always did. I never never did that in a video. Right. No, it's good. You could be brand friendly. You get it. And a, then when I saw like when deal. that shit started getting taken down It's over with. I just I just I, was, I was like yeah, now I know why I never did that shit. Got it. So can you tell us a little bit about your uh, upbringing and what what it was like, uh, where you're coming from? I'm from Harlem. Right. Sugar Hill, New York City. So like, so um, I'm just, I'm just like a Harlem baby, bro. That's all, bro. I mean, he's so relaxed. He's the like the Harlem baby, so when you. I wonder if that's his like real voice though. Good, feel me? Make it out at a young age, like I said, is a success. Yeah, that's a fact. And you guys have been going crazy for a minute now. Thank you, bro. But it's that's actually... how we all are when we young. Like for me, I was the same way. Like I was quiet as hell. Like did not talk to nobody. When I was like fifteen, I was the same way. I ain't gonna lie. My voice wasn't that deep though. I ain't gonna lie. You're crazy. Cause you remember Black Dave did that video with uh with you probably like a year and a half ago or something. Mm -hmm. We went to the neighborhood. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. That was, I think, that's honestly like how I found out about you guys, and I was just like, oh, shit. like, oh, it did crazy numbers too. It did. Oh, like one and a half million is pretty good. Jeez, oh, a little vlog in the neighborhood, yeah. Not that's as crazy. Dang. And before, like, you came in, and he mentioned that, right? And he thinks that Black Dave, like, maybe Swayze. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, not Black Dave. Uh, oh, oh no, who? <laughs> oh fuck, fuck, damn. If Black Dave could make the Swayze voice, I would lose it. No, 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 not him. Not, not Dave, my son. That's my heart. Right yeah, now. yeah. I'm yeah, talking guy. about. I'm talking about. Um, damn, who's that guy I did the interview for? I did an interview. Hakeem. No. <laughs> on like, on like Cam Capone, right? I think or no. Not. 
Cam Capone is definitely Swayze. It, it had like a red, like a red thingy. Mm. A red mic. Oh, oh no! Uh, it's Fuchsia's TV. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah, Fuchsia's. Yo, and we've never seen like how Fuchsia's look like. Never. No, no, never. no. Like, cause he don't like show like his like. That's cause most of them interview niggas be undercover cops like. And y'all niggas watch DJ Smalls. I ain't gonna lie, DJ Smalls be giving me cop vibes sometimes, and not just him, but like a lot of a lot of interviewers, they be giving me cop vibes. Like it's just the questions they be asking, the way they be talking. Like for me, they just that shit should just like an interrogation more than like an interview for camera. That's why you know what I'm saying. That's why. I thought. Mm. So a lot of people are really confused watching this because we're talking about all these meme pages and underground interviewers. And I know. Shit. Right? <laughs> not not no, underground, I don't really, but I don't really. I got no. I don't really. They don't really post about me. I got no problem. I'm just yeah. always, always, you know, always thoughts, you know, or think yeah. for me. Definitely. So, uh, what was your upbringing like when, in Harlem? Hmm? What was your upbringing like? Like, you have both parents. Um, I was born to a Dominican family. Right. So I was like outside. My my dad, my pops, my grandma. For me, I was. I mean. I was a grandma baby, like my grandma. Yeah, my grandma low key raised me, and then Love my, my dad. Feel me, my dad was always around. Feel me, always was there. But I was really like always lived to my grandma. <laughs> Let's go with his baby. voice. My grandma always been around, like always. Okay, your parents were just busy. Nah, nah, my parents was around too. I just, I just like I ain't live with them. I always lived to my grandma. Feel me. Got it. Um. So you said that you were uh, you were outside. Is that the vibe in your neighborhood? Like everybody was just having to be outside all the time. I mean, I mean, like, and you, I don't know how to explain it, bro. When you outside, like, I don't know how to explain it, bro. You in the hood? I, you active? I guess, yeah, bro. Yeah, like I was just outside, young, young nigga, bro. In New York, it's all about being outside. Nah, bro. He's saying that like he like 30, though. He's only 15. He's still young. Know, really <laughs> yeah, no, I, like, I lived in New York for like seven years, and I just definitely would always just be dudes hanging outside the liquor store. And when I walk by him, I would be like, this dude was born to be here. Like, he just, this is this is all he cares about is just holding it down here. Of course. And just representing. It's all about what you do, bro. You can't be miserable. It's all about like what you do, bro. For me, bro, you can't just like. What you said, you can't just do that, bro. Like you gotta do things in life for me to make yourself happy. Not a fact, yeah. yo. Cause I see like, and there's these videos that like go viral of people, of like Dominicans, right? And in, in like in like New York, and like the videos is just them outside just playing like loud music. You feel me? Just dancing and just cooling, you know? Nah, that'd be like the Bronx. Mm, the Bronx. Yeah. Yeah, I'm from I'm from Harlem. And Harlem is chill. Like it's not really my side. We be chilling. Out of the, the Bronx, what you just said, that being the Bronx. Yeah. That loud, these big ass cars. You're talking about the cars with the big ass yeah. speakers on top? Yeah, that's all in the Bronx. It's cool. Yo, like, tell me, like, in, in, like, if this is true, the Bronx is like the rough neck, like the dirty niggas, and Harlem is, is like the fashion niggas and who can dress, and then Brooklyn is like the scammers. Is that true? Like, I mean,. I can agree with you about what you said about Harlem. Yeah. Like, nobody, nobody could be this when it comes to, like, fashion and clothes. I mean, like, I don't, I, I never liked the Bronx, like, from literally, like, like I'm, 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 I'm from Harlem, like, I yeah. never liked the Bronx, so, like, bro, I don't know. Brooklyn, I never really went to Brooklyn, no, that's not my... I'm not my territory over there. No, so, so, like, you say you never really been there? You saying you, like, been there a couple times or just... You... Yeah, like, I just I see Brooklyn, like, you know, like, you know... You, like, you it's know, another world. Yeah. You know, outside, you see it in the car, it's handle some, some situation, music shit, some shit, I mean? But I never really went to Brooklyn. I was always, like, in Harlem. The Bronx is like Afghanistan up there, huh? Nah, I can't really speak to that, bro. You don't go up there either? <laughs> No, bro, I'm, I'm, I'm from Harlem, bro. I can't really speak for the Bronx. Mm. Speak, yeah, I could sure. probably speak for Harlem, but I don't know about the Bronx. We're just trying to figure out the, the, the different styles of each different borough drill-wise because we just are hearing so well, many different I mean, different what you opinions. think? 
Uh, I think the Bronx is Afghanistan. <laughs> Brooklyn is just a bunch of like hustling money type dudes with nice cars and stuff. That's like the main thing is that like the Brooklyn dudes are flashy and Brooklyn. fresh. And then the Bronx, I'm not saying they're like dirty, but they're not. It's a different vibe for sure. I've right. been to the Bronx. Bro. Yeah. What you think about Harlem? Yeah, I've been to the, the Harlem been to history is so rich, uh, you know. And like when I think of it, I, I, I grew like my high school years, or actually right after high school, was so dipset inspired that I. Yeah, my you know, son. My son was my son Joel Santana. That's my heart right there. This is a very New York thing that you can call him your son, even though he's like thirty years older than you. Not, like, that's just a new, <laughs> that's just a New York thing. Like, 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 like I, of course, everybody know Els is older than me, and like that's my big bro. Yeah, you know, you feel me? But like, that's just something you say in New York. Like, oh, that's my son Els. Feel me? Like, it's all love for me. But, like, shout out to my son Joel Santana. Yeah, because he did it to Black Dave earlier too, who's like twenty years old. I know. Him is like, you know, that's my. She's saying that too though. I ain't from New York. I'm from New Jersey. I call everybody my son. Like, if you watching this video right now, you my son. For me, these niggas in the video, these niggas my sons. For me, I call everybody my son too. I ain't gonna lie. What about y'all niggas? Y'all probably be like, "Oh, that's my man. That's my bro. Ain't your bro." Which I would never. Damn, and on an LA level, I feel like calling someone your son is kind of offensive. Of course. Now, I mean, I don't. I mean, like in New York, when you be like. That's my son. That's my heart right there. Like, I don't know. It, like it's son. the hard part though. Like that's new because I've heard son son for a while now. But like it just recently, like I've been hearing dudes like calling me their hearts. You feel me? So like, uh -oh. yeah, right. So like, where did like that come from? <laughs> just the way you said it. Um, <laughs> my block, my block started that. Ah, okay, gotcha. Like it started coming from. I could say like, like. I don't say my heart, but I definitely say slime. I call everybody slime. Y'all niggas my slime. Like, what's up, my heart? Is this something when you, like, I don't know, something different, like, for what's up, bro? And and now everybody is jacking that lingo down. Feel me? Like, the Bronx is jacking that, you know? Everybody be saying that. Yeah, you know? That's, it reminds me of when Drewski would always be saying, like, my 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 twin, my lover. Well, but who started the lover thing? I know that young thug, like, like, yeah, right. Like back in the day, Yo, right? Free my son, damn. <laughs> I, I understand what you're saying now, bro. Free my heart. <laughs> Yo, free my heart, young thug, bro. I ain't gonna lie, that's one of my favorite rappers too, bro. For real. Bro. Okay, so what what music were you listening to growing up? Dog, Chris Brown. Mm. Um, um, damn. Chris Brown is crazy. Um, I was also listening to my son Tupac sometimes. Tupac? Yeah, I was a young little, so I'm listening to old shit sometimes. But mm -hmm. That's dope that a dead man could be your son as well. <laughs> Damn, TP gang, don't put that in my video. <laughs> Nigga said a dead man. You well, man, we got him right here. Tupac Shakur. He's been dead since like approximately 1997, but. Yeah. Ooh. Not the Wait, though. Wait, and who put you on to Pac, though? Like, because you're 15, so like Pac. Right, like, like, was it moms or pops who put you on the pocket? Or what? My dad, my dad used to listen to like a lot of Joel Santana and like a lot of pocket and certain shit. Mm. So I was just, when I'll be around my dad, like, I'll just do shit like that. My dad do, like, I was young. So listen to songs and shit that I would listen to. Is there like a dipset class in high school if you grew up in Harlem? Because I feel like there should be. I don't know. They should have to teach the, the young kids because that's like really important shit. I don't know, bro. When I was in school, I was, it was regular school. Mm. Wait, so you're out of school now? Yeah, I'm homeschooled. Got you, got you, got you. And, and, and like, how was like, I'm that transition though? Because being like, in, like, right, like, 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 because going to school with, you know, like, like with your friends every day, right? You know, like, then like transition to now you're kind of like, you know, just studying and by yourself. Like, is that lonely or or do you prefer, you know, homeschool over public school? I'll be chilling, bro. Yeah. Don't be. I mean, when I was in middle school, I, like, before I got famous, I used to be in, like, outside and I used to go to school. And I used to, I ain't low key, be a little bad in school, be bad in school, I'll be mad bad in school. So, I, and then, I, I ain't gonna lie, I feel like, I feel like when you bad in school, bro, the teachers, the teachers love you for some reason. I don't know why, but like I feel like when you're bad in school, the teachers love you more. No, that's like, a fact. I had the opposite experience. I was bad and I hated it. But like, 
Um, yeah, I don't know. Like, I feel like when you bad, they just love you more. Yeah. No, but but like I feel like you've definitely calmed down more though, cause cause a thirteen year old like D Dot was <laughs> was a menace online, man. You feel me? Yeah, like, I mean, there's like a real viral video that is titled uh, "Sugar Hill D Dot: The Thirteen Year Old Menace to Society." I mean, yeah. that, that that was actually. I reacted to that. Go watch that video. Do you watch that? Yet? I found out about it. Documentary, back in the day. right? Yeah. I'm 15 now, bro. Yeah. So, <laughs> I ain't like. I was like I said, I was outside. Yeah, but you could be outside without getting into all this the fuck shit that might have you labeled a menace to society by a noted author like Swayze. <laughs> Man, I ain't even know who that nigga was, bro. That nigga just posted me, and I was I just it was funny. Yeah, I like, guess that was funny. Sometimes I feel like we give him a little too much uh, props on here by just talking about him, but yeah, man. I think he deserves it. Of course. Uh, mm. All right. So, like, how did you even like start rapping? I was just playing with it, bro, at first, and then, like, and then I just started realizing I was nice. Nice, yeah, and then I just started taking it serious. My son, Eat Our Baby, made me. Made me um, um rest in pieces. So my son made me better. Um, like he told me, like, like yo, like focus up. Like this shit, this is for you. Feel me, so I just feel me. No, no word. Were you like a popular kid in school and everything before that? Uh, you kind of give me that energy. Yeah, like everybody fucked with me. Everybody knew who I was before I was famous. I had like twenty k followers. Oh shit! Damn, so like 20K? I was still known. So y'all niggas got a game like four K. I'm still at three K. Bro, twenty K before the fame is. Yo, I'm such a loser, bro. Like, 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 bro, like, like, cause like, I'm just envisioning like having twenty K followers in middle school before like rap. Mm. Bro, like you, bro, like you were the man, cause I think like I probably had like I don't know like four hundred and like I was following like fifteen hundred. I interviewed a girl the other day. Told me she had a couple hundred thousand in high school. No, that's scary. <laughs> that's scary. That's <laughs> nah, that's up. scary, bro. I'm like, all these people were sharing you and they had no idea? She's like, yes. I'm like, oh, no. No, nah, that's crazy. It's a weird world we live in. But, uh, all right, so who, who actually, like, got you to start making music? Or what, what, what was that like? Nobody got me to start making music, gang. I do this. You, you, that's the problem, bro. You can't do music because cause, cause you're forced to work because you're like, like, like you gotta actually want to do it and love it. Mm -hmm. Like, feel me? I don't know how to explain it, bro. When people that make music know, feel me? If they should know. Okay, well, what inspired inspired you to actually do it? Um, my son, um, my son, um, Naughty and Eda. Like, after their passing, I just, I just that was my motivation. Like, like for them, I'm just for them. Yeah. Like everything I do is for them. Yo, I see like a viral video, right? Like of a mom, right? You feel me? Like nah, again, you got a lot of viral videos. <laughs> I know, right? You mean his mom? No, 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 no. Right? So, so look, right? So nah, look. Nah. No, no, not your mom, right? But hey, right? So like, and she was like, "Yo, I found my son's like rap notebook, right?" Yo, like he, bro, he's taking us in out the hood, right? So when you like first like play like your song for your mom, like was she like, yo, this shit gonna take us in out the hood, like this shit is hard as fuck, or was she like, you know what, this is cool? Um, I don't know, bro. Nah, yeah, I don't know, bro. I thought, nah, yeah, I ain't show like I ain't show nobody my first track, like nah. I I thought my first track was was whack. Everybody's first song is trash. Oh, word. So I ain't show nobody yet. What was your first, like, in good song then? I could say I started getting better when I started dropping at first on my page. Yeah. When I started dropping, shit started getting better. That's facts. And, like, how did you, like, do, like, Evil Twin? Like, how did, like, that come about? Um, that was my heart. Naughty was my heart. Yeah. So that's that's my heart. We was just in the stool. We was, we was just like we was in my building actually smoking. 
and then he was in my building actually smoking, right? And then he was like, like my son Nadi was rapping to me. He was like, yo, let me show you this D-Dot. And I was like, nah. Y'all hear his voice? Yeah, it's just me. That's like, nigga voice crazy. And right there, I booked, yeah, that's, when we, that's when we was broke, bro. When we was, <laughs> when we was broke, young little niggas outside. Yeah. I remember I asked my grandma for $40 because the studio, the studio's $40. Yeah. For me, an hour. So we went to the studio like a block away. And we, we just started making it. The song, for me. I'm trying to mm -hmm. hide my hair. Yeah, that was one of my songs. That shit's a, it's it's a, a hit classic, now. though, right? It's a hit now. But, bro, like, did y'all know, like, because, for example, right, like, because, like, that shit went cr like, it boomed, right? Did y'all know, like, when y'all was dropping it, like, bro, like, this the one? No, when I dropped it, like, my son Nadia already passed away, so, like, I just, um, I dropped it, and, like, I was like, I'm just, like, yeah, bro, I was just living up for my son, that video. My son really liked that song, so I really had to drop it. Like, he really liked my verse. He, like, I love that song. Like, my son part is... And it was stupid. Yeah. When did your voice take on the texture that you would, has that it has <laughs> now? Because it's very unique, especially for know. a young guy. I don't know. Yeah. You've been talking it's like deep. that since you were young, though? Like... Like this, like my yeah. flow, like I speak. No, you just have like a whispery, sort of raspy thing going on with your voice. It's like very unique. I mean, I don't know. But it was always like that. It sounds like you've been smoking for I twenty years. Nah, <laughs> nah, 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 nah. People used to say my voice is squeaky. I mean, I remember my voice changing when I went through puberty and shit. So I wonder if when you're eighteen, if it'll sound different. Probably, I guess. Probably, I ain't gonna lie. I'm only fifteen, and I don't tell the difference, but. Like the people I'll be around keep telling me I'm getting taller and my voice is getting deeper. So, um, like, you never recognize it. The people around you is going to yeah, tell that's you. That's how I be when you're like young. Never, when you young. Never rec I, I when still you don't like recognize 15, it. Niggas be like, oh, you so still handsome. sound a little squeaky. Like, when I'm getting taller. Like, and I hear myself. You mm -hmm. look just like your mm -hmm. father. It's just funny because a lot of people like who do drill music are trying to give off like a crazy demonic <laughs> energy with their voice. You, you're really doing it kind of yeah, naturally. I uh, yeah, I don't, I don't do that. I rap like this. Like right. I'm talking, just put my voice a little higher and just run. Definitely. Um, what you got next on that long ass list, fucker? Me? No, oh no, listen. Here, right? So and here's when and I think that like things like things was actually going gilly for me, right? You know, like things was getting like, you know, like crazy for you, right? Is when Dirk like brought y'all out. Right? Mm -hmm. So bro, like speak on that, man, like how did that come about, bro? Because that's a good look. I ain't gonna lie. Lil Dirk was, my, was one of my favorite rappers. That made me, like, that motivated me. That motivated me, so. Feel me? I just, I was, like, I don't know, bro. I was hype. But, like, like I saw all those people, 10,000 people. Feel me? I got, it wasn't, it wasn't, um, what's that shit called? Um, um, stay strike. Star strike. Whatever that fuck that shit called. <laughs> I wasn't. I was for me. The, the crowd was yelling for me. It was, it was a good show, bro. Hang on, I fucked it. Yeah. What What was the energy like from Dirk? For me, I ain't gonna lie. Ma, I ain't gonna lie. Son Dirk went out there. He started the whole crowd just, just singing every lyric. Yeah, I remember the crowd. The crowd was singing every lyric for me too when I performed. Um, I wanna love you and shit too. Right. And I think the real purge. Everybody was screaming and that shit. Right. And that was after or before? Like, like. No, nah, I was the opening. I was first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. No, but no. So like, was that after or like before? Like the Drake. Like the Drake. Like. I was. After gang, that was after I was mm. in Drake. I was in my son Drake, um, in Miami and shit. Yo, and how did like that come about? Nah, it was it was like, um, like it was. I don't even know, bro. Everything was. We went to Miami. Uh, we was already cool with him because we got so um, we already um took a um a photo shoot for him. Yeah. Like we modeled for him on the knock the shit. 
Okay. And we already was cool with him and in contact with him. And when we went to Miami, we just got cool. We linked up. Chilling. Yo, was you kind of like shocked though that like, and he was so like tapped into like the drill movement in New York? Man, I wouldn't be surprised that nobody's not tapped in with what, what's going on right now because like, it's viral. Everything is going around the city, so. Do you think it's the hottest rap scene in the country? I mean. It might be, right? Might be, I don't know. I can't think of any other scene in the country that has a lot of rappers who are doing, you know, millions or at least hundreds of thousands of views yeah. consistently. There's like a lot of rappers out in New York that are really popping like that. And when I think about L.A., it's like, it's not definitely probably not as many. Oh man, listen, when this drop drop, they finna be on you. Man. I'm just saying, well, everybody knows LA gotta step it up. Everybody knows LA gotta yeah. work on their game a little bit. There's some hot rappers, don't get me wrong, but it's just not exactly like an insane amount of them. Yeah, of course. Maybe that makes me controversial, I don't know. Nah, man, listen, question though, right? So like, do you like feel like, for example, like, I feel like the drill fans, right? Like, for example, like the Reddit community, the IG pages, like, do you feel the, like, they do too much in, in terms of like instigating and trying to put like people against each other. Oh no, bro. Yeah. I don't be on the media, bro. No. Nah. You really yeah. try to pay like not pay attention to it. Yeah, if you pay close attention to me, bro, I don't be on the media, bro. I be chilling, bro. Mm -hmm. I just do what I love doing, bro. Music, bro. Feel me, bro. That's all, bro. Well, question though, right? Right. So, do you like feel, I guess, like indebted to your guys, like as you grow? What? Do you here? So, like, indebted means like, do you feel like a sense of loyalty to your friends as you grow, right? Like, for example, right? Feel me? Like, for me, it's more so like I, I had a bunch of friends like growing up, right? But bro, like, as you grow and get bigger, like. Not all the guys can come with you, right? So here, right? So do you feel like loyalty to like in all the guys like as you grow? Yeah, I love all my niggas, bro. We all from the same hood, bro. Yeah. Never felt no other way about love all my niggas, bro. Yeah, no facts. Always been love, bro. Never nothing new, bro. Yeah, man. Yo, what's next though, man? You feel me? Like, is there like a project dropping soon? Sit back and eat your popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, we ready, man? Mm, is y'all ready? Have you seen how becoming successful can kind of affect your friendships? Where like people that you thought you were real homies with or start acting weird and start doing all kinds of bullshit? No, no, bro. No, no, bro. That's not in my circle. Yeah, definitely. What he basically was trying to say was. Let's go to a Didi. That's what he's trying to ask that nigga. He ain't gonna ask him for real though. Cause he knows you guys ain't gonna answer that shit. That's in this bed though. This shit about over. I don't know what they about to talk about. They probably just about to end it cause it's like a little bit left. But um, make sure you follow me on Instagram. My IG Dior Jew. My Snap YBW Jew One. My OnlyFans free subscription at Dior Jew. Hit that like button, that sub button. We'll see y'all next video.